what Premiere Pro? Why Premiere Pro? We do After Effects videos on this channel. Why are we doing Premiere Pro? Well, there's a lot of things that we can take a look at using Adobe Premiere Pro. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at four promo slash opener techniques that you can use within your Premiere Pro sequences. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So if you like this tutorial and you wanna see more content on Premiere Pro, be sure to destroy that like button and leave a comment down below and let me know that you wanna see more type of content like this. And if you don't wanna see more Premiere Pro tutorials, just make sure you hit that dislike button twice. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial and let's get started. All right, so to get started off in our first technique, we're gonna talk about how to create some really cool animated titles. And we're gonna talk about several different techniques within just one technique, so it'll be fun. So we'll come here to our tutorial sequence. I just have two video clips in here. This will be the basis for our promo tutorial. And to create some titles, we'll grab the title tool right here and we'll click into our program window and type in any title that we want. And now I have a title and I can easily move it to wherever I want in the composition. And in our effects controls, we'll see our uh, title parameters. I'm using the typeface Montserrat Bold. I'm pretty sure I mispronounced that. And what I like to do here is come here to appearance and check on the background uh, box right here. This gives us a background on our title and it fits perfectly and it's awesome. One thing you might have to do is come here to the size and you see we can increase the size of this. I just kind of want to have a nice even border, nothing too over the top. And this will just give us a nice you know, design element to our title, something to consider. And then what I'd like to do is come here to our effects window and we'll type in linear wipe and we'll bring this effect into our title layer. And simply we'll bring the angle wipe to negative 90 degrees and we'll add a keyframe for transition completion. We'll move that keyframe forward by maybe a half a second to a third of a second and we'll set the transition completion up to 100%. So now we'll have a very simple reveal on our title and that looks super nice. And we'll grab both our keyframes, right click them and we'll click on ease in and you can always expand the keyframes if you want. Nice. Okay. So then what we could do is we could take this title. If we want more titles, we can hold down alt on our keyboard, click and drag a duplicate on top. And then simply we'll drag one title down, grab our title tool, and we can replace our title with another you know, word. And we continue to do that. And if you're working with multiple words, you can easily change the color to you know, of one word like we did here, which is the uh, Premiere logo color, which is nice. And then once we have all these words in here, we can kind of just offset them in time by a little bit. So now we have our three words animating on and you know that looks super nice. We have three words perfectly animating. Now, let's say you don't wanna use that type of background. We wanna have an extra word over here. I'll show you another technique on how to animate a word in here. So we just have a solo word right here, not animating. And when you have something like that typed out, we can animate this on through like an invisible cut. So what we could do here, for example, is grab this top title layer and we can add a keyframe for position and we'll move that keyframe forward in time, maybe by a second or so, and bring down the Y position down below. So it'll just simply animate up like that. So what we'll do here is we'll right click this layer and we'll click on nest and we can call it title one, okay? And what we're gonna do is just bring this into our source window and there'll be a rectangle mask right here. Okay, so we'll bring this mask to be over our word. Our goal here is to make sure that this rectangle mask uh, his bottom line is underneath our, our word right here, just like this. So what I can do here is click our right corner point and our bottom corner point, hold down shift on my keyboard. So I select them both and I can just drag these out just like so. So that will expand out the word and that's fine. And let's set our mask feather over here on the left to zero points, right? So now look at that invisible cut. And that's one way you can animate a word in there. Very seamless and that's nice. So we can always play around with the timing. So now we have our titles animating in here. So two different ways you can animate titles depending on what style that you wanna go for. So another quick technique that we can implement in here is simply by putting a nice little solid underneath our titles and above our video layer, just to create more separation between titles. You know, it's just an extra element, an extra layer of depth. So what we'll do is come here to our project window and come here to the bottom to where it says new item and we'll click on uh, color matte and click OK and make sure it's the size of your uh, sequence. And we select any color that we want. So maybe I'll do like a uh, orange here and we'll click OK. And you can call it whatever you want. I'll just call it color matte for fun. And we'll bring up all of our title layers and we'll bring this color matte right above our video below our titles. All right. So what we're gonna do here is we're simply gonna go into our color matte, make sure it's in the effects controls and we'll lower down the opacity, right? Maybe to, you know, depending on 
how far do you want to go i'll do like 14 percent and we'll add a keyframe for position maybe like a second into the sequence move that keyframe forward in time and we can like bring down the y position of this color mat so what's going to happen is it's just going to you know jump right in there and it's simply going to add an extra layer of depth to our sequence and our graphics so for our third technique, we're going to talk about how to create a seamless transition between two different clips. And if you don't have a transitions pack for Premiere Pro, I highly suggest that you get one if you're a professional video editor. You know, the default transitions in Premiere Pro are just not so good. So I have a pack of over a thousand Premiere transitions that I use. I will link it below and all the transitions that you're seeing right now are from that pack. All these transitions are a drag and a drop, which will help you save a tremendous amount of time. But I'm going to show you how to create this seamless transition right here from scratch. All right, so first what we need to do is make sure we grab all of our first clip assets and we right click it and we click on nest and we can call this clip one or video clip, whatever you want to call it, just so we know it's the first clip in the sequence and we can just trim it out to fit exactly where it needs to be. And if we have assets for a second clip, we need to do that as well. All right, so when you're ready to create transitions, when all your clips are nested with their graphics, um, what we can do is come here to our new item icon and we're going to create an adjustment layer and we'll bring this adjustment layer into our timeline and we're going to right click it and we're going to click on nest and we'll call it transition. Click OK. All right. You have to do that in order for this transition to work. So first of all, we'll kind of just time this out a little bit, trim it up. Boom. We don't want a long transition. That's fine. And then we're going to right click this layer and click on adjustment layer right here. <clears throat> so like I said, in order for these effects to work, you have to do it that way. And what we're going to do is we're going to come into our effects window and type in replicate. And there it is. And we'll bring this right into our adjustment layer that we turn into a nested sequence and we'll set our replicated account to three. Okay. Then we're going to come back here to effects and we're going to type in transform. There it is. And where it says scale, we're going to set this up to 300 because we created, uh, you know, nine copies here. So we'll scale into 300 and I'll put us back to where we were. And right before our cut between two clips, we'll make sure our playheads like maybe half a second to a second before that cut. And we'll add a keyframe for position. And then we'll roll by to the second clip. And you can change the position in any direction you want. So if you want it to go up, you can do that. You want to go to left and right, you can do that as well. We will just have it go up. We'll do like a quick little scroll up and just match that up as best as you can. Perfect. And we'll grab both these keyframes, right click them, and we'll come here to temporal and torpolation. So fun to say. And we'll just set it to ease in. And one thing we'll do is we'll uncheck use composition shutter speed. And we'll set the shutter angle here to 180 degrees or any other size that you want. Now we have a very seamless transition here with motion blur and that looks incredible. So if you already edit a lot and you don't have a full transitions pack, I will link the one that I use, which has over a thousand transitions in it. That link will be below. So for our fourth technique, we're gonna talk about using third party elements or overlay assets to help bring more style to our composition. So instead of having to do incredible crazy effects with tons of effects and keyframes, we're gonna keep it simple with third party assets like lens flares, light leaks. In our case, I'm gonna use accent motion graphics which I will be giving away a few of these for free from our full pack of 200 accent graphics for Premiere Pro and After Effects off our website. Uh, but you can get a free download just off of a few of these that we'll be using in this tutorial. So if you download our graphics for free, which will be linked below, you can come here, install them to your essential graphics window, and we can click and drag one of these clusters over. So now we have these very simple accent motion graphics applied to our composition, which just helps bring more detail to the overall experience. And if you want to change the colors, you simply just click on that layer and you can easily change your colors from the edit tab. And aside to our accent graphics pack, we also have a full title pack right here in Premiere Pro, also works in After Effects, and we can easily change out titles just by bringing in whatever title that we need. So for example, I could bring this title in and I'll come here to my edit tab and I can easily change out my title and the box size will automatically update after we type in a title. And if we don't need the extra titles in here, we can easily just turn them off with a click of a button with our hide capabilities and easily change out our colors. So now we have a full title animation in here that was made in After Effects, but is very editable in Premiere Pro. And as you can see, by hiding those extra titles, we're not messing up the overall animation. It stays exactly the same. And that's the reason why we built this pack so you can add on more words to the same title animations or hide extra words if you don't need them. So if you wanna check out any of our packs off our website for Premiere Pro and for After Effects, I will link them below. If you pick up anything off our website, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. And that closes this tutorial on creating these four techniques inside of Premiere Pro so you can put together you know, really cool promo 
slash opener sequences really easily and hopefully some cool techniques came from this tutorial. So if you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creating.